still in the preview mode, we can go and press snap to capture the skyline. The sun eye will acquire the image and then do some image processing to determine what is the open sky and what is the obstructions and paint them yellow and green respectively. So now what you see is the annual sun path view which shows the time of day and the month of the year and you can see the obstructions and where the obstructions overlap with the sun paths we have shading at that location. So this shows significant midday winter shade and this one shows afternoon shade for much of the year. So we have a solar access number of 87 percent that means 13 percent of our energy is being lost due to shading. You can see that that number is higher in the summer than in the winter and we can view that in the view menu and as the monthly solar access and you can see that the trees are causing significantly more impact in the winter than they are in the summer. Returning to the annual sun path view, we can see also that the panel tilt and, or, and azimuth are displayed here and notice it says 165 degrees when we entered in 150 degrees. This azimuth displayed is true azimuth so it's adjusted by the magnetic declination. We can also show the data in the obstruction elevation view which shows as a function of azimuth in degrees what is the obstruction elevation angle. So that's the angle from the horizon to the obstruction as a function of azimuth. And you can see the large tree and the smaller tree in this display. Returning to the annual sun path view, it's also possible to use what's called the edit mode to experiment with trimming or removing trees. For example, we can experiment with the impact of trimming portion of this tree, applying the changes and viewing the impact on solar access. You can now see the solar access is 90 percent versus 87 percent before the tree was trimmed. So using the sun eye multiple skylines can be taken and then we are ready to move our data from the device into the computer for additional processing. The SunEye desktop software is a Windows application that comes included with the SunEye. You can transfer from the device. I've already transferred in this case the session with four skylines. I can look at the session properties menu which is where I am now and then I can go to the skylines and browse the skylines and I can open the one we were working on earlier and notice I can see the results in a similar way. I can view the file in multiple formats and I can use edit mode this time with the benefit of the large screen and the computer. When I'm finished editing the skylines, I can then export a session report, give it information about the client and the installation company, pick the skylines that I want to include, pick the properties for the windowed obstruction elevation file, which is one of the files in the, in the report. The defaults are normally OK export that 
and then a HTML file will be created, which I can then open in a Windows browser and view the results. There's a title page, session summary with session average files, as well as the details of each skyline, the bar chart, and data files that can be opened in other applications. Now you can share the exported reports with your clients by finding them in your Windows Explorer. The default location is under My Documents, Solmetric, SunEye, and Exported Reports. And there's our design report. And we can, for example, send that by way of uh, email or zip it before doing so since the files can get somewhat large. In a similar way, I can also share my session files with others who may be using the desktop software. Notice under sessions, we have a session called design, which is timestamped. This folder is timestamped. So take this whole folder underneath the sessions folder, and then you can save it and uh, put it on a share drive or email it to a colleague. Again, uh, that can be used uh, by the SunEye desktop software on a diff different computer. For additional information, please visit the Solmetric website for some useful tools as well as a knowledge base with answers to common questions. Or feel free to give us a call or send an email. We'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for listening and good luck in the solar business.